Hey Labradors, today I'm reading Can I Have a Stegosaurus Mom? Can I? Please? It's by Lois G. Grambling and the pictures are by H.B. Lewis. Can I have a Stegosaurus Mom? Can I? Please? Can I have a Stegosaurus Mom? Can I? Please? If I had a Stegosaurus Mom, my stegosaurus would sleep with me in my bed every night and I wouldn't have to worry about scary monsters jumping out of my closet and pouncing on me as soon as I closed my eyes. Because if they ever tried, my stegosaurus would jump out of bed and pounce on them and they'd be squished splat, flatter than flat. Can I have a stegosaurus, mom? Can I please? If I had a stegosaurus, mom, when you made some yucky vegetable for supper and put tons of it on my plate and said I couldn't have any dessert until my plate was clean, my stegosaurus could eat it all up for me and my plate would be sparkling clean and you'd be happy and I'd be happy and my stegosaurus would be happy too because the stegosaurus really loves those yucky vegetables. Miss Frosser told us that in science class. And if Miss Frosser forgot to reserve the school bus for us the day we were supposed to take our field trip to the museum, my stegosaurus could take us. And I'd sit high on his head with Miss Frosser, Frosser, and the other kids could sit up and down the rest of him. And I'd tell Zello Zimmer, sorry, Zelmo Zimmer, to hold on tight to the spikes on his tail so he wouldn't fall off. Miss Frosser always seats us alphabetically. Can I have a stegosaurus mom? Can I? Please? If I had a stegosaurus mom, whenever there was a parade in town, I'd get the best view of anyone because I'd climb up on my stegosaurus and see everything. And the drum major would wave at me and he, as he passed by and I'd wave back. Can I have a stegosaurus mom? Can I please? If I had a stegosaurus mom, at summer camp my stegosaurus and I would do great in all the races. Thundering across the finish line first every time and we'd do great in the tug of war too. The kids on the other side wouldn't have a chance. Can I have a stegosaurus mom? Can I please? If I had a stegosaurus mom, on Halloween you and dad wouldn't have to go out trick or treating with me. My stegosaurus would and I'd be safe, really safe. Who'd pick on a little stegosaurus trick-or-treating on Halloween when a big stegosaurus was with him? And who wouldn't give a special treat to a little stegosaurus ringing their doorbell on Halloween when a big stegosaurus was with him? Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, my stegosaurus would make a super mascot for my peewee football team cheering us on during halftime and thundering up and down the bleachers every time anyone make a t made a touchdown. The crowd would go wild and so would the coach. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, and I suddenly remembered on Christmas Eve that I'd left something off my Christmas list, I'd jump on my stegosaurus and we'd go galloping, galloping, galloping to the North Pole fast. And when we got there, I'd tell Santa what it was that I'd left off my list and Santa would thank me for coming and he'd add it to my list, of course. But mom, the most important reason for having a stegosaurus, the one that really counts the most, mom, is that yesterday I found this gigantic egg in the woods under a pile of leaves and I've been sitting on it ever since. And it's beginning to crack open right now. Crack, crack, uh-oh. Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Mom? Can I, please? I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Mom. And that, I believe, is the end. And there's the ded dedication to my sons, Jeff and Mark, and for Mom and Dad, something to share with Nikki and Carly. I don't think either of those dinosaurs would make great pets. 
but especially not the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Have a great afternoon, Labradors. See you later.